for um, number 22, they want us to take the area bounded between these curves and revolve it around the line x is equal to pi over 2. So I've drawn these curves here, and we can see that the area bounded between them is this uh, part shaded in yellow. And so um, they want us to take it and revolve it. So let's, when we revolve it, we're going to have this little chunk here that gets um, revolved into a cylinder like so. And so to form a volume, we're basically summing up all these little cylinders here, right? So for example, if I were further out, this would give me a flatter cylinder. Um, let me just erase that or it's gonna get too messy. And this cylinder here, when we think about opening it up, it forms like an infinitely thin, um, you could think of it as a sheet of paper that gets wrapped around the line x is equal to pi over two. And this definitely has an area, right? And so our volume is gonna be given by, the volume is the sum of all these areas, so ax dx. And the reason that it's ax dx is because um, we're summing these cylinders horizontally, right? We're summing them up from x is equal to zero all the way out to pi over four. So what we have to do here is basically just find um, an expression for this area in terms of x. Um, and now this area here, because it is a rectangle, this is base times height, right? So let's find the height and the base. Um, and as we can see here, the height, um, let me maybe put that in a different color. The height, it goes from zero all the way out to where it touches this pink curve, right? So that's going to be the height. It goes from zero to the pink curve. And as we can see, it is just defined by the value of the pink curve. And so this height here is going to end up being tangent of x. And let's talk about the, um, the base. So let me maybe draw that in a different color. And the base is going to be this part right here. Right, and that is going to be the base. Um, and we can see here that this is just a circle, right? So any circle has the circumference 2 pi r, um, but we do want to be able to express this r in terms of x because we're summing these up across the x-axis, right? Um, so our challenge is to express both the base and the height in terms of x. So let's do that. Um, and as we can see, this radius here, um, this radius, it goes from pi over 2 all the way out here. It's this arrow right here. And um, let's give this point here a value. Maybe that's, um, let's pretend that that's pi over 2, right? Um, uh, pi over 2 is not going to, to, actually I did that way, way wrong. Um, let's pretend that this is pi over, let's see, pi over 5. Yeah. Um, and so we can see here that this value, pi over 5, um, it is measured from the origin all the way out, right? x is equal to pi over 5. So we don't want the value pi over 5. We want the difference pi over 2 minus that value, right? Because think about it. Um, this whole section here, this whole section here, this has a length of pi over 2. So I'm going to go pi over 2 minus that value of x to get this orange, um, this yellow line. Let me just erase all of this stuff because that is um, crowding up our drawing. So let me just show that once more. To get to a random, and I'm just going to call this a random value of x, if I just go x, it's measured from the origin all the way out here. So I don't want to go from the origin. I want to take this whole distance, pi over 2, and I want to subtract from it that little left stuff so that I can get this line right here that faces to the left, right? So once more, the radius here is just going to be pi over 2 minus x. Um, so once we have this, we can see that the base is going to be 2, 2 pi times the radius, which is pi over 2 minus x, right? And so the area is equal to base times height, so that's 2 pi times pi over 2 minus x times tan x. So um, once we have this expression for our area, this is just 
wherever we're at on our x axis, if we plug this into, uh, if we plug the value of x into these expressions, it is just going to give us the area of the cylinder that wraps around at a certain point. So now we can just plug it back in. So that's the volume of, uh, volume is going to be the integral from zero to pi over four. I'm gonna put the two pi outside because it's a constant. And that is the integral of pi over two minus x times um, tan x dx. And now it's asking us to, um, to plug it into a calculator, right? We don't have to integrate it ourselves. So when I put this into an integral calculator and I use the site called, um, called Symbolab, in case you guys wanna check that out, this volume will give us, let's see, let me plug that in, that is uh, about 2.25323. And that's what we get when we take um, this area here and we revolve it around the line x is equal to pi over two.